What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the OnePlus 6 and today we're back with the tempered glass screen protector from Orsley to unbox, do a quick review. As always we'll throw up that link in the video description for you guys to check it out. So pricing is $10.99. I believe it comes with a two pack which is definitely a decent to good price for tempered glass screen protectors. It's gotten 25 reviews on Amazon, three stars, so that's not great, but we'll check it out and see if it's a hit or miss. And it does look to be one of those ones that's going to be full glue, so we'll check that out to make sure. And then, obviously, you guys decide if it's a hit or miss. Let's check out the presentation. Looks really decent enough. Got the little Orsley branding right there for the OnePlus 6, and you can tell 2.5D black is what you're going to get. And then twin packs, you're getting two of them. And premium tempered glass screen protector Orsley. And then on the back, it's going to give you a little more details about clarity and then all that. They all say sensitive and all that stuff like that. But tempered glass screen protector. So that's pretty much it. Presentation does look, feel quality, especially for that price point. So you can't really beat that at least. So let's check it out and see if it's a hit or miss. I'm currently rocking, which I'm actually pretty impressed by, is the poetic tempered glass screen protector that came with one of the cases. And... I'm, I've been rocking that. It's a little shorter, so it's been more compatible with some of the cases, the third-party cases out there. So shout out to them for doing that. Nice job. And then let's get to this review. So here's what you're going to get. Got the mandatory, usual suspects, if I can get them out. And then here's the actual timber glass screen protectors. Put that to the side. So you are getting a two-pack for sure. Got some Orsley dust stickers. Just keep those in handy. Let's see what else we get. Thank you. Put that to the side. Installation instructions. All that good stuff. We're not going to read that. That's We're just going to go rogue on that. And then you do have your alcohol prep pads, alcohol wipes, whatever you want to call them. Wet wipes, whatever you want to call it. So there you go. You get two of them. And then my favorite feature when you get a tempered glass screen protector because you can just keep these around to wipe off that glass back of the OnePlus 6 which I find myself doing all the time you do have a little squeegee right there and then here's the actual microfiber cloth that I use constantly to wipe it down it's got a nice weight to it as well it got a little branding as well so that's nice nice job the main feature got that tempered glass screen protector you can tell just by the weight you can tell by the way it's actually presented right here that it is going to be full adhesive. You do have those black borders. That is not for everybody. Some people hate them. Some people don't mind them. I personally don't mind them if they don't affect my viewing angles. And this one appears to be very thin. Now, if you guys remember back when the OnePlus 5 came out, the official one from the OnePlus 5, that tempered glass screen protector, was way too thick. And it cut into the viewing angles on the side. So you actually had a lot of negative viewing angles from that side you're actually getting a lot of the viewing angle taken up by the actual black borders but this appears to be very thin enough so it does appear to be a nice quality nice weight to it so we'll check that out so let's try to do this on video we always try to do it on video sometimes they work sometimes they do not this one actually is um, one of the poetic ones and it's like i said full adhesive and you can even tell that the actual notch up top is actually covered as well. So I actually really like this one. It was a little shorter on the sides, which may be compatible with more cases that I've done so far. So I'm going to put that to the side. I was actually pretty happy with that for them to actually throw that in for around, you know, you get a case and a screen protector for 20 bucks. Not too bad. So what you want to do first, get the alcohol prep pad ready to go. We'll get it going here. Got the wipe down mandatory wet wipe give it a quick onesie twosie over kind of get those corners those cracks everything you can possibly think of get all that dirt out of it especially it does accumulate regardless of this corner you know what i'm saying that corners start to accumulate dirt so get as much as you can especially you want to you know have a fresh screen to do the initial installation anyways it is nice when they provide you two of them i'm not gonna lie about that because if you mess up let's be honest it is nice to have a backup i mean i've been doing this for a little while now but i still mess up on this and if you're spending a you know 10 bucks is not bad but if you're buying an official product and you're spending 25 30 bucks 
and they give you one screen protector, you mess it up, you're done. I don't know about you guys, but that feeling is awful when you would waste. It's basically like throwing money down the down the drain. So shout out to them for at least providing a two pack for us. And then what we'll do after that is give it a quick wipe down with the microfiber cloth. Looks pretty good. And then the last but not least, you can still see there's a couple little couple little specks of dirt, but that's why you get this dust sticker take it off like that and then kind of go over it one more time and that usually will clean up any type of remaining dust particles from the screen try to get that notch good as well because that's kind of hidden up there in terms of dust looks pretty good Let's see one more one more you can always just kind of tell i don't know what it drives me nuts when i lose like i leave a dust particle in there and I'm at work or something like that. And I'm like, man, I missed that. I don't know. <laughs> you guys think that too? When you guys see it and it's just like a reflection, you can see that dust particle that you missed. Hate that. Anyways, back to the review. So here's the actual tempered glass screen protector. It does have a cutout for the notch. So what we're going to do is pull it out like this. Try not to touch the actual adhesive. This is full adhesive. And right now I did see, I do see, I should say, a dust particle that just popped on the screen. So that happens. So always keep one of these around just in case you have to do a quick wipe down before you do the installation. So from there, what I'll kind of do is use the actual notch as my alignment tool and front facing camera as well. So use that as your guide. Line it up just like that. And then use your fingers as well to kind of guide the actual side. So feels pretty good let's do it you can see the adhesive is adhering which it is properly adhering full adhesive full glue whatever you want to call it nicely done no issues at all let me give it a quick wipe down there we go check check this out let me turn on the screen so let's do this let's check it out so you can see it actually went on very smoothly like the way it feels so far it's got that natural feel to it now the black border it's it's not too bad it's, it does have some you know it's a full edge to edge protection you can check and see right there so you're getting around the notch that's exposed so keep that in mind but you do have full edge to edge protection it's going pretty close to the ends as well so let me do this guys i'm gonna put the video on pause we'll finish up the review kind of do a few cases we'll do a case test and compatibility test like we always do it hold tight guys we'll finish up the beat review we'll be right back thank all you right, guys welcome back so we got to put on no issues at all i think actually the adhesive adhered really nicely throughout the corners and you can see it went on very smoothly so this is definitely full adhesive it's got that natural feel to it natural touch so i do appreciate that now what we're going to do is kind of do a case test to see if the cases are compatible Let's start out with the official OnePlus case. This is going to be the silicone case. One of my favorite looking cases for the OnePlus lineup that's been out. And you should expect that this one's compatible because there's a lack of lip protection. So you squeeze. No issue at all. It's definitely compatible with the official one. I'll give you guys a look at that. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Anyways, let's go on to the next one. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. But it's probably if you get, it's probably safe to say if you guys have the official one of the official cases that it should be compatible. We'll keep the speaking for a little bit later because that's been my usual problem child of the case lineups in terms of compatibility. So let's check this one out. This is the SUP case, and I like this one a lot. I just did the review on this one, so check out that review. We've got that clear case. This is the Beetle, but it must be the Mini Beetle because this one is not a tank. Let's check it out. Squeezing. No issues at all. So it's compatible with this. And if you guys are rocking this case, you got some nice protection, edge to edge protection, and a clear case minus the fingerprints. That looks beautiful. So put that to the side. If you guys are rocking this case, it is compatible. Let's check it out. Tudia Merge. This is going to be a two part case, heavy duty case, I would say. And the price is definitely right as well. Pop it in a place like that. And this one's just we're just gonna go right in. It is a two-part case. Now if I can get it in. Struggle City. There we go. Let's 
check it out like that so it is compatible I'm squeezing I'm squeezing I'm squeezing no issues at all so if you're rocking this case you got some heavy-duty protection no issues with compatibility for this tempered glass screen protector put that to the side I'm rocking this, this X level case check out that review this is one of my favorite cases very lightweight love that's grip on this one no issues at all with this X level I think I got a rinky one right here I believe I think this is the rinky case I think don't hold me to that but I think this is the rinky one so we'll put that put it to the test as well put it to the squeeze test no issues so it's compatible with the rinky so it's been very nice in terms of compatibility so far let's do the final the final test this is the Spigen case let's check it out real quick this is a fan favorite but it's also been a problem in terms of compatibility now you can see right there right there it is popping up I'm using a lot of force though so I don't know how much I mean if you guys are squeezing it like this it is popping up right there too so the Spigen once again no go for compatibility which I kind of expected but it does appear to be you know it just it's it does pop off I'm not gonna lie so it's not I would say this is not compatible I can't recommend that if it's gonna be if you're rocking the, the speaking case but overall guys it's a two-pack you're getting two, like I said two screen protectors full adhesive for 11 bucks I would say this one's a hit it's compatible with most of the cases that I did today or I checked it out with so I'd say it's gonna be a hit let me know what you guys think in the comment section if you guys want any other case reviews or case suggestions throw it up in the comment section hit the subscribe button we'll see you guys next time